Okay, welcome to a class today on a topic which I think is very rarely mentioned in various grammar books and uh, generally speaking by teachers. The topic of gerund or verbal noun. And uh, I'm afraid that this is really tricky and there aren't many places you can go to find out information about whether a word is a gerund or a verbal noun. And it's really tricky to decide why. Well, so, firstly, a little bit of background. Um, I want you to think of um, this idea that very often we have a noun, reduction. Yeah, reduction is a noun. Um, but we also have a gerund form from reduction. We have reducing. So this is a noun, reduction. Reducing is a noun. And so what's the difference between reduction and reducing if there is one? Or are they exactly the same? Well, they are similar. I would say they do actually have different meaning as well. They do. They certainly have different meaning as well. But the most important way in which they differ is perhaps that um, grammatically they, they, they work differently. And um, what do I mean? I mean these three points, that gerunds can take direct objects, they're uncountable, and they can't be modified by adjectives or determiners. And this becomes really important, especially with the words the and a. And this is why I teach this topic, because I've noticed a lot of mistakes um, simply because people aren't aware that there is such a thing as a gerund form or a verbal noun form, and that's because it's rarely taught. So let me go into a bit more detail now. Um, the really difficult thing with deciding whether something is a gerund or a verbal noun is that sometimes the verbal noun looks exactly the same as the gerund, yeah? A painting and painting. Painting is the gerund and a painting is the verbal noun. Um, now, of course, they do have a different meaning. A painting is a picture on the wall. Painting is the activity of painting. Same for a drawing, which is a verbal noun. A drawing is a verbal noun and it's a, sing it's a countable, it's clearly countable, isn't it? One drawing, two drawings, three drawings, one painting, two paintings, three paintings. And uh, a drawing is just a picture and drawing is the activity of using a pencil to form pictures. Yeah, and I can see I haven't written drawing over here, but drawing is certainly over here as well. And so sometimes the gerund and the verbal noun look identical, but they are different because drawing is an activity and a drawing is something you make. Yeah, painting is an activity and a painting is something you create. OK, so that's one difficult.